I saw this little guy, this little 30 mil of Burberry Brit Red on eBay and I thought I'm going to snap it up because it was like it was super cheap. I can't remember how much it was. This is just a partial bottle, as you can see. But I thought I'm going to just try that out because I know it's been discontinued. It's pretty rare. I just thought it'd be really fun to review it for the channel. So I purchased it. And I took a bit of a risk because this does have patchouli in it, but I was hoping, well, it has jasmine as well, but I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't be one of the stronger notes. Um, so this is not a perfume that I like. Um, the notes in this are top notes of rhubarb, mandarin, orange and jasmine, middle notes of ginger, rose and patchouli, base notes of vanilla bean, benzoin and sandalwood. And... The votes on this have rhubarb at the top, followed by the vanilla, the ginger, and then the benzoin. And the patchouli is relatively low down, the jasmine's relatively low down, the highest floral is voted by a decent amount of votes as rose. Um, but yeah, so this one, this is very sickly to me. Um, how to even explain it if this is rhubarb then it's a very very sweetened rhubarb that's not juicy and not very fruity it's for me vanilla is way above the rhubarb here and the benzoin's very high which can be very sweet and warm but also this to me goes slightly powdery it reminds me of something that I dislike heartily, but I struggle to remember what it is. Um, but it puts me in mind of things like Lulu and uh, from Cashrel and Sun by Jill Sanders. Not because I think it actually smells like those perfumes, but the way it makes me feel overwhelmed by a powdery sweetness in a like a kind of cloying heavy almost choking kind of way that's what this Burberry Red makes me feel like now I have the original Burberry Brit and I love it I've got Burberry Brit Rhythm which I also like but I think is also incredibly sweet maybe not the easiest thing to wear um I liked Burberry Brit Eau de Toilette but I didn't the thing I liked best about that was the dry down because when it really dries down it starts to smell like Burberry Brit EDP so there was no point in me keeping that perfume I didn't need it um Burberry Brit Flor Floral I just absolutely hated it's just it reminded me a bit of cool water and it had similar to this a kind of cloying sweet powderiness but that one was much fresher and more juicy than this um and then uh, I think that's the uh, oh is, it, is there another Burberry Brit um, I think maybe it was just Rhythm and Tender EDP EDT and then this one um, so yeah so this um, if anyone watching this uh, is in the UK I will put this in a declutter video and then I'll try to put that declutter video up before I actually put it on ebay because this is not one i'm ever going to be able to wear it just does not work for me i definitely do smell the patchouli i mean it's not like horrifically strong but i i can't get on board with this perfume it's just not for me i like a kind of brighter rhubarb myself mm, let's have a look the the top comparison to this is one of the girl of nows the kind of orangey one what, what's it called is it called sensual or something like that? Um, oh, it's also compared to Amo Ferragamo, the original one. That one I found quite sickly as well, but I found that one, I think, a little bit more fruity. Um, maybe not quite as powdery, but that one, I think, has ambroxan in it, so it was never going to work for me. Um, the closest I can think from my collection is a Brocard perfume called Colour Feeling Red. And that one, I think, has a sort of profile that is a little tiny bit like this but isn't quite the same that one's like pepper and amber and it's got like cherry and blood orange and vanilla and labdomen so it's 
but but it's very watery and fresh and juicy compared to this one i think the real problem for for me for this is that it's very sweet very thick and powdery smelling um and that's just not something that i can really cope with but the other comparisons i don't really recognize i'm just going to click on the girl of now so i can actually tell you girl of now forever apparently ah it has almond in it so okay almond patchouli some fruits okay probably a lot of vanilla yeah i can see it so oh, actually let me have a think about this thinking about that this does not list almond but yes it almost has like the sweet almond heliotropy powdery vibe that you get in things like hypnotic poison that's what it is it gives me that kind of without the root beery smell and like maybe a slightly fruitier vibe it gives me that kind of hypnotic poison sensation which i cannot cannot stand which is a powdery very sweet almondy vanilla um yes okay that might be what that is so it doesn't list almond but i could almost imagine that this has either almond or heliotrope in it but yeah it's not in the notes but yeah, that's okay. That might explain it. So there you go. While I was reviewing it, <laughs> thanks to Girl of Now, because of course that does have almond in it. And yeah, so I think that's probably what it is. But if you like Hypnotic Poison, you'd love this. I'm absolutely sure of it. If you like Girl of Now, you'd probably really love this as well. Um, and it's slightly, I'd say, less synthetic smelling than Girl of Now. But yeah, this personally, it's not for me, but it was uh, it was interesting to smell it. It's been fun. But yeah, I think this little babe, which I imagine has got about just a bit over 20 mil in it now. Um, this one's going to have to go on eBay because I'm just not going to be able to wear this, sadly.